Hi everyone and welcome to my kitchen. My name is Rosanna and today we're going to enjoy the process of making stuffed mushrooms. I'm going to be using Baby Bella's but you can use the like the regular brown kind that you can find at the supermarket. I believe it's called cremini but pardon me if I'm saying that wrong. But for me I'm actually doing the um, Baby Bella because I love how meaty it is and they just come out amazing. So for this recipe, you can actually make this for any special event. Um, you can either make them as past or doors, or just if you want to have a normal meal, make them as a side dish. They're amazing any way you make them. So let's get started. We need to go ahead and saute our garlic, onions, what else? Prosciutto. All right, let's get started. Be prepared, this part of the recipe will release amazing aromas. Be sure to enjoy every single moment. First, we need to dice a quarter of an onion and make sure it's super fine. So if you need to run the knife a few more times to make sure your pieces are small, be sure to do so. Mince two garlic cloves. Remember, we will need to fit our veggies into our mushrooms so it's important they are small. Take your three ounces of prosciutto and cut them into small size as well. Once done, bring all the ingredients over to the stove as we will need to cook them. Start by adding one tablespoon of butter and a touch of olive oil to your pan and keep it at a medium heat to make sure nothing burns since our ingredients are finely chopped. If you feel the need to bring the heat down at any point, do so. Add your onions and garlic and saute them for a few seconds. Finally, add your prosciutto and let it cook as well until your onions look lightly transparent. Once you see it is ready, take off the stove and set it aside for it to cool. All right, everyone, we're gonna let our prosciutto mix that we sauteed, it smells so good by the way, but we have to let that cool since we're gonna be incorporating it with some cheese, so it's gotta be cooled. Meanwhile, we're gonna take our mushrooms and all we're gonna do is remove the stem, this part right here of the mushroom. And it's so easy to do. We don't have to be harsh with it. Um, all you gotta do is hold it and just press a little and then press backwards again. And here it is, it's loose. Again, you're gonna take your mushroom, you're gonna push gently and then push back. And then if it doesn't come out at the first try, you can just keep pushing it. And here it is. The whole piece should come out fairly easy. And let's just go ahead and do the rest of our mushrooms. Okay guys, our mushrooms are done. So I'm just gonna go ahead and transfer them to a different bowl because I'm gonna be mixing our filling in this bowl. So that is that. And make sure you do not throw away all of your stems. These are perfect. If you just wanna incorporate them in any other dish you're making, you're more than welcome to do that. I personally cut them up really finely and just incorporate them in my morning omelet. It's kind of fancy, huh? <laughs> okay guys, let's go ahead and do our filling. In a large bowl, add half a cup of ricotta cheese, a quarter cup of Parmesan cheese, and half a cup of mozzarella cheese. Next, Chop one cup of spinach. I personally love the touch spinach gives this recipe. This leafy green is so flavorful, no wonder it's so popular. Go ahead and add it to your bowl. Also chop half a cup of artichoke hearts. I feel like they add a meaty feel together with our baby Bellas. I'm just obsessed with the combinations we have going on here of deep flavors. Chop some parsley. Parsley helps brighten flavors and adds a beautiful balance. It's widely used and loved, and now you know why. 
Lastly, incorporate your prosciutto mix and start mixing. I'm not going to add salt since our prosciutto has enough salt already. Prosciutto is an Italian dry cured ham. It's thinly sliced and used for so many dishes. It's used to wrap, accompany, stuff, and top many dishes. It is definitely an old time favorite. And today we're using its valuable flavors in our stuffing. I'm so, so excited. To prepare our topping, to one cup of panko breadcrumbs, add two tablespoons of melted butter. And if you like, it's optional, but you can also add some more Parmesan cheese. Depends on how much of a cheese lover you are. You may feel you want more cheese, or maybe not, so I'll leave that up to you. Just make sure you mix everything well. This part is simple and fun. We're going to be stuffing. Take each Baby Bella and a little bit of our mix and stuff them well. I like to lightly cover the top of them with the filling so it leaves me with a nice surface where I will be placing my crumbs later on. This recipe will actually give you about 30 to 34 mushrooms, but keep in mind my baby bellas are a bit larger than the regular brown mushrooms you find in the supermarket, so you may get more out of your recipe if smaller. If you want to use these as past or d'oeuvres, that's a great idea. In that case, you will need smaller bite-sized mushrooms. So I think the regular brown mushrooms would work great. We want people to enjoy and still eat it with no issues. So if that's the route you want to take, let's keep it bite-sized. We are definitely not skipping the topping. This is going to give us that crunch we all enjoy. I like to take each mushroom and top them over my container of crumbs to prevent any messes. Gently but firmly pack the crumbs on top. Our oven should be preheated to 375 degrees. Also make sure the sheet pan you're using is sprayed to prevent anything from sticking. We're going to bake for roughly 20 minutes or until your tops are nice and golden and your mushrooms cooked through. If you enjoy my content, consider subscribing. Feel free to like and share our videos with friends and family and don't forget to click the notification bell as this helps notify you when there's a new video. This way you don't miss out on new and exciting recipes. Go ahead and place your baby bellas in the oven. By the way, these are going to be so cute when baking. They look like autumn trees in a sheet pan. You'll see in a minute. Oh my god, these are precious and a joy to make. You can impress a crowd easily and have the time of your life. You get to show all your creativity and when you're passionate about what you do, believe me, it shows. In this case, you can taste it as well. Okay, our mushrooms are done, so I'm gonna go ahead and do the taste test. So, which one should I get? Mm -hmm. I'm gonna grab this one right here. This one's gonna suffer the consequences of being so yummy licious. All right, let me taste it. Yummy. Let me take another bite. These mushrooms are so delicious. They're packed with flavor, they're meaty, they're juicy. And then make sure you do not skip the crumbs over them because they give it such a nice crunch. All right, so make sure you try this recipe and then come back and comment below. Let me know how it went. Also give us a thumbs up if you like this video and remember you can follow me on Facebook and Instagram. Thank you so much and have a wonderful rest of your day.